my happy Monday morning. This is, what is it now? Week five of the weekly vlogs. And I have put this uh, GoPro tape around my hand so I can't fucking move. Right, we are back at Rachel's, we're cracking on. The boys finished off the hardcore. They've just chucked it down for now with a weed membrane all around the footpath, around the perimeter. So today's plan is me and Dan, who's still hanging. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Dan are going to crack on finishing off the curb stones around the perimeter. We've got some left here, we're going to use up what we've got and then see how many more we need. We're going to get them all laid in today because it gives half a day alright and then from about lunchtime raining as per usual. Tomorrow and the rest of the week is nice weather so we're going to crack on tomorrow and we are going to top coat all the render behind the walls, everywhere get all the rendering finished and then it's got a chance to dry because we want to get it all painted etc before we do the resin so that is pretty much the plan today don't forget to like and subscribe thank you very much for joining our journey on our weekly vlogs we're new to it so we're still learning but we appreciate your support what we're going to do then is the bits on the back of the walls here the retaining walls we pulled some of the waste away we're going to top coat it in one hit and then obviously do the pillars now at the same time as well. So when it comes to top coating, we'll top coat the whole lot in one hit. Same with here, I'm gonna pull some of the uh, waste away and then render all of that in one hit, job done. And it gives it ch ch a chance to dry out. So we, what we need is we need all the render to dry out. Ow, okay. uh, we need all the render to dry out so they've got a chance to paint it all before we do the resin. Obviously we don't do any resin and stuff like that beforehand because it would just be an absolute pain in the ass. So just gotta do a couple of bits up here. Should do one more coat of scat across that. Which is terraline. Gonna go up to that top band up there all the way across and down. And then we just gotta fill out the reveals on the bifolds. Apart from that the garden is all pretty much there now. We've got probably two tons I'd say to go in this area here on this top tier. This top tier here is level from that point right across to this point okay and then we've got one step going down and then that area is flat then we put all the coping stones on yesterday and then obviously built the piers up so it's looking really really smart now so once it's all done it's going to look so good josh is just down there getting a mix out for the curb stones say hi to your fans josh all right guys just a quick update you can see we started to lay the curb stones all the way round. I uh, just pulled the weed membrane back to get a bed of muck down. And then we are just following them up there. And to continue on here, got to move that hardcore back first. All the way around here. And then that just leaves us with the grano dust and the mesh and go system by Ace Resins and hopefully we'll be cracking on with some of that at the start of next week. Right, I'm back in the office now, just going to sort out some job quotations, uh, organising some other jobs, we we'll be going through some content, getting some stuff ready to go, some paperwork, all the boring crap, and crack on with that now. I only went in this morning, sorted out the lads, went through the curb stones with Dam, just giving the explanation, just so it's tell him how to do it how to install it he's competent enough to do it just give him that experience just to crack on with it and get on with it okay um so he's kind of, he's getting on with that today josh's been tidying up doing some bits as well and then tomorrow the plan is we're going early between the three of us we're going to get all the top coat rendering all the way down all the way through all the retaining walls the pillars etc get it all completely finished tomorrow and they got the chance to paint it by the end of the week so friday get it all painted and what we're going to do, we're going to do the resin in two stages. We're going to do the top section with the footpaths in one hit with the risers on all the steps. Gives us a chance to glue the risers on once they've gone off. And then we can do the bottom tier and the treads on all the steps all the way throughout. And then that'll be job done. Happy Tuesday, everyone. So, top coat day. We're going to crack on get the top coat done on all these walls today. I'm gonna give it a little dampen down in a minute. Not too much though, because it's cold, so it will hang like mad house. So, right across here, all across here. I'm gonna do some behind the back of the walls as well. 
and then we can backfill all the soil, etc. to tile up this whole area. Plan is then, once this is all done, we can mess around with that at the top bit then. The boys finished it off yesterday. So this is the layout all the way across. What we're doing with the excess soil is we're going to fill up some of the garden because as you can see down the bottom here, it drops off quite a lot. So we're going to reuse some of this soil, level out the garden and then it will look really, really nice. And then we're going to do wax them, we'll compact this hardcore a few times, the MOT, and then we've got to put some grano dust over the top of it. The grano dust is just 10 mil thick, and that just allows us to put the, um, allows us to put the mesh and go system on top, and then we can render across the whole lot. Oh, bouncing across here, young man there. Boys are just outside mixing up. Let's go see what they're doing. Here they are. Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh, mate. Hello to all my fans. It's me. Only fans. JC Dog. <laughs> Hello, it's me. <laughs> yes, mate. Hello again. What makes you doing, Deza? Uh, we're doing a five one and one, so that's five silver sand, one lime, <laughs> as you can see in here. Ah. Hydrated lime. Hydrated lime. This just helps the uh, mix fatty up a bit and for finishing it makes it a lot easier. And we use these bad boys. Um, so much and off. one cement. Um, we do a four one four and one for our scratch coat. So you make the top coat a bit weaker. So otherwise if the back coat cracks and the top coat's stronger, the wall will fall off. It's to allow for movement basically and the lime also helps with that. Free flow as our waterproofer and additive. That smells banging as well, doesn't it? <laughs> it's like sniffing glue. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're gonna crack on with a mix. We're gonna get, I think we're gonna get two mixes done now, and then we're gonna crack on and see how we get on. Uh, so we'll put on time lapse and see you soon. Tony's just flattening in that little awkward dwarf wall. Bit of, a, bit of a pain in the ass, Tone? Yeah, Daddy. Did a cracking job there, mate. Cracking? Hey! <laughs> Got that wall there on, that one. Pillars finished. Mm, I don't like this bit. This is the top. This is the top of the wall. Yeah. A little bit of pressure on the I know, but I feel like I'm sucking it. No, you're not, you're not. So, we can rectify it. Look, you can go like that. We'll turn it right into oh. Mr. Miyagi. Look. Don't use your hands, you're going to burn them. I ain't going to burn my hands. <laughs> this is so much fun, isn't it? <laughs> Why didn't I do this? Right, so what do I do? That's got a hole in it. Pick a bit up and throw yeah. it. Yeah, fill it, fill it in, and then rub it around on the floor. This is nice, you're looking for me. Yeah, imagine doing that all day. Nice on your knees. Do you like how battered your body must be? Oh, yeah. But what about all this? Yeah, chuck, chuck some more muck in it. Is that what you do? <laughs> but you could do this all day long, couldn't you? Yeah, you're just basically filling out so you get all the perfections back in there so it's nice and flat everywhere. Oh, I've, got some, I've got leg ache now. Yeah, do you do? <laughs> Dan, how have you not got leg ache? I'm leaning on a pad. Oh, it's hard work, this, isn't it? Definitely squatting down. Really there, right, though. that that is good. Huh? That is a good wall. So, right, yeah. Right, if you take a look at the wall. You can see we've just used the serrated edge. That's what leaves these lines here. So we know where roughly we are flat. So we've got hollow spots out here and here, etc. The bits that aren't touching or serrated like that, we're going to go back over, put a little bit more muck on it, and then we know we're dead flat all the way across the whole wall. So we do just fill up. The low spots, and then we leave it like that, and then we go over again with the serrated edge, or we know it's going to be there or thereabouts. So when we float it, it's going to be perfect. Tony. 
Tone is just moving on to this wall now. Oh, Daddy. Laying this one on with the old hawk and charm As you can see the scratch coat in behind. And it's just covering that up. And then we're going to flatten a minute. Just pan over to Joshy over here. He's floating up the small garden wall that we laid on this morning. This one here is floated up, ready for a sponge in a minute. Same with this one. I find him floating up, Josh. Not, not bad, man, might it? Yeah? yeah? Good job, keep it up. We're all about team spirit here at TDD. Team spirit? Come on, Tone, you can do this, keep it up. Thank you, mate. Keep it going. <laughs> Your Blue Peter badge, it's on its way. Is uh, Joshy Boy having a go on the old trowel and orc. We're currently rendering the floor. <laughs> no, I'm joking. He's having a little practice. Because you're not going to say, practice makes perfect. Unless your name's Josh. So this is where we got to yesterday. Finished all the render, top coat, across all the retaining walls, the pillars, and then also we managed to get a coating behind the walls. So all we've got to do now is clean out the block and stuff, then we put some topsoil all back in here, all the way around just to finish this side off nicely. And the same with down here, we put the hardcore up to the wall now, and we can finish off the footpath, all the curb stones are done now. So now we can just put the MOT down uh, to the correct depth. We're also going to extend the footpath down here now. And the same one down that end, because eventually they want to create something here, like a gazebo area or something like that. So we're going to get on with that today. We've got more, um, three tons we've got, three tons of 803 outside. So the boys are going to bring that in today. So we're going to crack on that. What else we got today? Oh, it's quite a tiring day yesterday. Bit bit does now. Um, oh, that's what I was going to do. We're also going to finish off this step. So I'm going to put some formwork across here, get some ready mixed concrete delivered, fill that in. We're going to put some rebar that we're going to resin into the brickwork so it binds the steps of the house. And then also put some uh, threaded bar down into the ground just as some extra support. So we're going to do that. Risers. What we're going to do is, when we put the moisture resistant board, we'll cut it down to the height and allow it to go right across, make sure it's level on the top, all the way across and on each step. And that has enables us to put a perimeter of stainless beads around the board. And then what we do then is lay them down flat, fill them up with resin, and then once they've gone off, the next day come back, glue them to the risers, and that gives it the nice finish. And then what we do then is put the stainless beads on top of that to allow for the treads to be completed on the returns and the front face and that gives it a nice seamless finish of resin up the riser and the tread so that's the plan here we've also got to do it this step that step and that step it just gives it a real nice seamless finish you just see nice resin going up everywhere low maintenance then as well they haven't got paint or anything don't have to worry about that so that is the plan I forgot to mention as well with the render. So the top coat render here is, uh, as Dan said, it's a five and one and one, which means five sand. So we use five silver sand, one cement and one lime. And then on the back of the walls, we use some weather one coat because it's very thin on the back. The, the one coat system uh, is a lot stronger, okay, because of the additives in it and stuff. So we've got less chance of it cracking because we didn't have enough room with the copings and stuff because that next coping size were bloody massive so we've done it that way which looks nice you've still got 10 15 mil lip on the back and then a 15 to 20 mil lip on the front so it looks perfect as you can see there you go so that was that we also done the reveals dubbed out these reveals yesterday as well <clears throat> so that's all done and then what we're going to do is we'll do one more coat of uh, scat across the whole lot but we're going to probably take it up to the top band 
just to feather it out more because the wool is on the belly quite a lot. So we feathered out straight and then we've just got to feather that patch in, as you can see, a bit more to straighten it out so it looks better by eye. And then that is it, is Commando Joe. That concentration phase. <laughs> so Dan's just putting the uh, stainless steel trims around the sides. Okay, so then we can render the reveals, but then this allows us to basically put the risers up to flush across the uh, stainless beads, and then we can do once that's all gone off, we're going to put beads across here, and then down there. Then we can infill the treads. Basically, what he's done is make sure the boat level is level that way from front to back, and then from left to right of a long level, to make sure it's all perfect. It's all about the finishes. The detail. Here you have What's about Josh that? in his wild habitat with a shovel in his hand. I'm so fit. Look at ah. You're horrendous, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up all <awful. laughs> Right, so Josh is just um, digging this section out here. We're going to extend this path from here right down through. It's nice to see him actually working. Suck. <laughs> Usually he's just got a phone in his hand. Yeah, because I think about her all the time. <laughs> so we're trying to resin some threaded bar into the wall here. Okay, across here to reinforce when we concrete the step in. What we use is this, the Fisher. That is the brand of the resin that we use. And all we do is a two part resin. So we've drilled our holes here, as you can see. We've used a little brush that comes with a set. So you brush that in and out, and then we use a little pump just to ensure all the dust, dust, the dust and debris is out to ensure a better connection with the resin, okay? So then all we use is the threaded bar, pull the resin in, slot that inside, that will go off in about 10 minutes and then basically the reason we're doing that you see easier in a minute we've got the form work up but you can imagine basically the concrete steps going to come across here the same width as the doors it's going to bind it to the house to the brickwork just to ensure the strength and integrity of it we're going to wax some threaded bar into the ground as well just to ensure a better connection as well again so that's it let's crack on right so i'm about to put the threaded bar into the wall to connect up for the new concrete set that we're doing. So we're going to use this here, the Fisher two-part resin. So all you do is drill your holes, as we've done here. We've used our little brush just to brush in the uh, dust and get out the excess of debris. Then we use a little pump just to blow out all the dust to ensure a better connection. And all we do then is squeeze the two-part resin inside the hole, use the threaded bar to slot inside. And then after 10 minutes, it will go off solid. Then we're going to do our full mark around. Basically, the reason we're doing that is just to ensure a better connection to the step to, to the house to prevent any drop in, just to make sure. Right, so we do now. So you can just see it mixing up together as you're squeezing it, mixing up all the way through. And then put it inside the hole, get rid of the excess to start with, it's just like a liquid. And then you can see all the mixture coming out through now. And put it inside. It's like a grey colour. So pull that inside. And use the threaded bar. Just to slot inside the hole but twist it as well. And then I'll just, just to make sure I put a bit extra on top. The reason why you twist it as well, just go with the thread so you're not forcing it all to the back. So I'm going to crack on and do the other ones. Alright guys, as you can see, all the edgings now bedded down, weave them back up to them, a bit more hardcore to go in some areas. 
but we're all bedded back in, ready to start cracking on with the mash and go in the resin system supplied by Ace Resins. Right, so I've just been to look at a job first thing this morning, down at Buckfast. I'm just going down back to site to Rachel's house now, me and the lads, where we've got one bag of granite dust coming, a dumpy bag. So we're gonna start scattering that around, ready to compact. We'll compact the 803 first, and then a few more curbstones to fit in. So we've got about nine more curbstones to fit. Finish off the compaction across all the hardcore, job done, and then we're virtually there, ready for the resin. I'm going to get the moisture resistant backer boards cut in place today, get some trim screwed around the perimeters, that's how we do the risers. So I'm going to get all them done ready to go, so then as soon as the resin comes we're going to crack on, we're going to slap down the risers ready to go, let them go off for a day. So the plan is probably do the risers tomorrow and then crack on next week with all the rest of it. Right, that's the end of this week's vlog. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're always notified for our latest videos. As you can see, we're all finished now, so I'm absolutely knackered. Just got back. Got back home now. What do we do today? So today was finishing off all the hardcore, finishing off the top layer of grano dust on the top half, and then we also compacted everywhere. So all three sections are all done, ready to go. All we've got to do next week is finish off the bottom patio sections, some granite dust across, compact that, ready to go. Monday, we're hoping to get the risers done for all the steps, ready to go. That allows us then for Tuesday to glue them all in place, bead everywhere, and then do the top section, I reckon Tuesday, the Wednesday, completely finished, job done. Happy days. So see you next week. Have a good weekend.